uh, many faces in this room I've worked with over the past uh, 22 years, and uh, some even before that. <coughs> Uh, but I do have to correct uh, Ken, uh, and I hate to do that because he's a longtime friend, but Zenya reminded me, it's not that I was a friend of Ukraine, I am a friend of Ukraine. And uh, that continues after my tenure in Congress. Uh, a word about Ken Alabak and Peter Leitner. I've known both of these uh, men uh, during my career. Um, having been in Congress for 20 years, and having focused on the former Soviet states and the problem areas around the world, I got to know Ken uh, because of his outstanding work with our country on the study of uh, biological weapons and the problems concerned. In fact, I chaired one of the hearings where Ken first testified before the Congress and told the stories uh, that became a part of our effort to protect America and the world against the threat of biological weapon attack. Healthcare oftentimes is a way to bring people together. During my tenure in Congress, I focused on the problem areas of the world. As a strong supporter of our military and ultimately the vice chairman of our oversight committee for all of our defense, I considered my primary responsibility the effort to avoid war. War is always a symbol of the failure of diplomacy. Now, sometimes war is inevitable where there are tyrants or despots that you can't reason with, then war unfortunately becomes an option that policymakers have to resort to. But in many cases, we need to be more aggressive in reaching out in a positive way to avoid conflict. That's why, as the Vice Chairman of the Armed Services Committee, I led the first two delegations into North Korea. I did that not because I think that Kim Jong-il is someone that is more often than not rational, but I did it because I know that the last thing that all of us want, and certainly the last thing that people on the Korean Peninsula want, is another war. My meetings in Pyongyang did not ultimately solve the problem, but I think played a small part in laying the foundation for the talks that Ambassador Hill is currently engaged in to help us resolve the nuclear crisis on the Korean Peninsula. I did the same thing in Libya. I have the pleasure of being the first American to travel to Libya in 40 years, to sit down in a tent with Gaddafi and convince him that the American people did not want war, 